Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to another video. And I'm here with updates on the tropics. So we have this Caribbean disturbance that we want to talk about, as well as our newly formed tropical depression 27. So we have our 27th depression of this hurricane season. And so, guys, if you want to know if you'll be affected by either of these tropical systems and how strong they might get, please keep watching this video. And so, before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't, and tap the bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical activity right through the season and before i also go into this video guys i just want to say a very very big thank you for helping me reach at 2k subscribers right now i really appreciate it and i've been very excited about it if you have been seeing my instagram story on my personal account and i just want to thank you guys so much i really appreciate it and i will continue doing what i love and also keeping you guys informed and so now let's go into details with these all right so first we have our tropical depression 27 there we have it on satellite view it is looking much better than it did yesterday we're starting to see this thing becoming more compact as a tropical system here and so we're expecting this trend to continue and we're expecting that this will become epsilon and it will become a hurricane well the national hurricane center is also predicting that so now let us go to the national hurricane center's cone forecast as i mentioned that so right now the storm has winds of 35 miles per hour well i should say tropical depression and it is move it's currently stationary so not moving at this time and so we're expecting some steady strengthening during the next couple of days and by maybe early on thursday this could achieve hurricane status and it's going to um it's going to pass bermuda right there so the small island could still be affected with some tropical storm like conditions from this but there are no watches or warnings that are in place for it right now guys and so most likely this is going to not be a threat to the U.S. So if you're in the U.S., you're in the clear. Well, as of now, because anything can happen, will that continue up to the northwest or will it turn up to the north and then go out to the east? We'll look at what the models are showing very soon. So now let us look at what the um the expected intensity is for this um based on what models are showing and so there we have it. So we have all of our models at this time agreeing that this will become a tropical storm. And most of our models here are expecting that it will become a hurricane and we have one at this time expecting that it will be a cat 3 which is made on the start of being a major hurricane guys so it is certainly not impossible um we see these storms being out there in the open atlantic these fish storms we call them and they eventually just you know strengthen and fortunately not being thrust to land and with the potential path of it is going to be most of our models here agree that it will be moving to the northwest and then eventually making a turn up to the northeast and as i said if you're if you're in bermuda you could be affected by this potential tropical system so you really want to be cautious and now let's take a look at that caribbean disturbance so there have been um, a lot of changes with this in terms of whether it will develop and where it might be affected but based on what the national hurricane center is saying it is possible that we could see some development in the northwestern caribbean by the latter part of this week and so most likely maybe jamaica won't be affected and maybe central america could be in for some very heavy rainfall some gusty winds from this but again tropical development is not guaranteed but if it does develop it will acquire the name zeta which is the next name on the list um to be used for tropical cyclones this year and also we're on the way to beating 2005 to be the next record holder of the most active season on record so guys that is really it for this video and so if you found this video to be pretty informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be with the wise now keep giving all the necessary updates on the tropics as time goes by